Welcome ladies and gentlemen. I'm seeing a very very awkward picture emerging in our country. And this awkward picture is being brought by none other than Kenya Kwanza Cabinet Secretary. Today the NCCK have called for resignation of the three cabinet secretary in William Samoy Ruto's administration. That is Madam Susan Nakumicha, Nteka Linturi, and Murkomen, the three cabinet secretary. So they demand them to be uh, removed from the office with the immediate effect. The video I'm going to show it to you, ladies and gentlemen, is the video which is going to form the basis of our analysis. And we want to dig deep and come out with a resolution. What should be done in order for Kenya Kwanza not to get into such kind of a situation again? This is the first thing happening in the history. Imagine a country where three cabinets are now resigning. Where will we go to? Are things going to work? So Ntika Linturi, Murkomen, and Nyakumicha are on a frying pan. Let's take a look and listen to whatever NCCK is saying but before we look on that video ladies and gentlemen i want to appreciate you so much for the support that you always offer to this channel and if this might be your first time watching me as on kenya tv youtube channel i request you do me a favor take a one second and click that subscription button and subscribe to our channel after you subscribe to our channel watch like and share thank you and let's take a look and listen to whatever is taking place in our country. Either if one person dies in some countries because of there's some, something wrong, either she fixes it or steps out. Sim. It is not the people of my Kariba who are suffering. A bishop can afford to go to Aga Khan Hospital, but a, a, the grandmother who the Yuri Kore Mashinani cannot afford. So we want to see the president talk about it, solve this problem, let people live well in this nation. The men of cloth also raised concerns over agriculture CS Mithika Linturi's failure to rein in on those involved in the suspected fake fertilizer fiasco. <laughs> Kanga accused the CS of shielding individuals who are out to swindle unsuspecting farmers through the government subsidy fertilizer program. Mbolea ilitoka. In Peanwa with the systems that we are supposed to be doing, they have the accountability, they have who are the storekeepers, they have the lorries that transport it. The means of agriculture should not come and tell us ilikuwa ikatembea. The means of agriculture would have come and told us this is what happens and either so and so has been sacked or himself is stepped down. Under the rising statistics of road carnage, the NCCK officials say transport CS Kipchumba Morkoman has work to do to tame the situation. By late March this year, more than 1,000 people had died in road accidents, way higher than trends in previous years. The rate of accidents in Kenya can be measured with the rate of corruption in this country. We must have consolidated effort with the police and NTCA and all the systems concerned because there must be something wrong. For those vehicles to do what they are doing right now, either things have gone out of hand. Despite the mounting pressure, there has been no direct response from President William Ruto on the three issues of health, fertilizer, and road carnage. Laura Otieno, Citizen TV. It all went. Now, we want to find what is the secret, why these people are demanding take a linturi to resign, Nakumicha to resign, and more comment to resign. That is whatever they now demand. Number one, the side of Ntika Linturi is sold fake fertilizers to Kenyans, more so to the farmers, and he was not able to defend himself. 
It means that the fake fertilizers which were sold to the farmers he was aware of this. He is the one who collided with other people, the cartels, and allowed this to happen in our country. So the NCCK demands Ntika Linturi to resign. Number two is more comment. More comment have failed because right now nowadays we have ruthless drivers who just drink and drive the vehicle anyhow. Because even me, I can recall while I was taking my license, I was taught one thing. That when you are having fatigue, don't drive. When you are drunk, don't drive. When there is fog, don't drive. For those who have gone for driving a uh, class lesson, I'm one of them. While I, while I was taking my lenses. So these are the factors which always affect people. You see, you see more comment always concentrate <coughs> on the in the NTSA office, but you don't concentrate on roads and traffic rules. So he have failed and it somehow he lacks skills on how to work. He talk much but not delivering promises. That is why NCK is now demanding Moses Korea to resign. Moses uh, Murkoven to resign so because so many accidents are now occurring in our country and you've watched them, you've seen them that when you reach to where you go to you just kneel down and pray saying thank you God which is good, that is all obvious a must. Then lastly Madam Sosa and Akumisha, why do they want her to resign? She is relaxing. She only visits funerals. But she cannot talk to doctors. The nurses are demonstrating day in, day out. There is no agreement. He is afraid of President Ruto. He forgets her work. And only speak in the funeral. So they want Susan, uh, they want Nakumisha, uh, Tika Linturi, and Murkomen to resign with immediate effect. Lastly, how is it going to happen if President Ruto is the owner of the country? Though he didn't create the earth. Only God had that power. But he is the one controlling country Kenya. And these people are his friends, of which we believe. Mm, he can't allow this, this to happen. That is whatever is now happening as we speak, ladies and gentlemen. Allow me to end this analysis at this point. But before I end it, kindly don't forget to like this video, watch, share, and give us your opinion. Thank you very much. Bye-bye, as you hope to meet on another political discussion.